world? It's your girl Brittany, and today we have DJ TJ Mazel. What's up? What's going on? How are you? Good. How are you? Doing great. Happy Good. to be here. Okay, so tell me, you're changing your name? Yes, I am. Actually, within the last like two days, we've gone through a pretty dramatic switch with logo, name, everything, just characteristic about the whole brand. Okay, so, so would you would you like to officially announce your name change? Def definitely. Um, we came up with the logos and like the definite definite name today, and we're going by Dasmatic from now on. So that's D A S M A T I C. Okay, and what does that mean? Um, Dasmatic, pretty much. Um, my DJ style is I like to take a lot of. I have a, like a huge love for electronic music. I have a huge love for hip hop music, and um, my style is I'm definitely gonna be like crossing these two genres together in all of my music. So um, I feel like Das and Matic, these are two words that completely stuck out for me. Um, Matic is always a word that I've always, like I've always wanted to come up with like skateboarding lines or clothing lines and Matic was something that always stuck for me. So I figured, hey, why not throw like three words in front of that, give something that'll stick, something a little electronic, a little hip hop flavor, and then came up with Das Matic. Jam Master J, baby. Um, for many people who don't know, you're the son of late great Jam Master J. Yep. How has his career and his legacy kind of influenced you to become a DJ? Um, uh, so many different ways. So many different ways. Like a lot of people are like, yo, he probably was in the lab with you every day when you're like two teaching you how to DJ, which is completely false. Like he never taught me anything about DJing. His way of putting me into music was like kindergarten, I was playing violin, forced to play violin. It wasn't even my choice, you know, like <laughs> your school has a violin program, you're gonna play violin. So started with violin and then um, I moved on to drums and percussion. I've been doing that since third grade and uh, keyboard, bass, guitar. And he's always just had me in music theory and teaching me about music, a bunch of different genres of music. Like. I didn't even really grow up listening to hip-hop, I grew up listening to a lot of classic rock and roll. I grew up playing drums in a rock and roll band with my friends. So um, he kind of like non-indirectly taught me like about music and even opening the Scratch Academy, like I work at the Scratch Academy now. I'm a teacher there and that's a school that he started in 2002 with Rock Principi. But for um, just to teach people how to DJ and produce music and indirectly like that's where I've learned all of my skills all of my skills at the Scratch Academy so um, indirectly you taught me how to DJ through that which is kind of cool mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a really huge gig coming up though, right? Yes. You're going to be spinning with Run DMC for Made in America Festival. Yep. Um, how did that all come about? There was a lot of talk about Run DMC going back on tour and a lot of this and a lot of that. I wasn't really informed on a lot of it, but um, pretty much just spoke to Eric one day and he was just like, yo, we're gonna do this. And But yeah, it's definitely happening. My brother and I are gonna be doing sets, like two minute sets for little routines. And it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be the big break. My most people I've ever performed in front of is probably like fifteen hundred people right now, mm -hmm. and this is gonna boost it up to like thirty thousand. So we'll mm -hmm. see. 